can y'all believe that Sunday is Christmas? Like, like this Sunday, this Sunday is Christmas day. I feel like December just kind of went by just a little too fast. It just, and Christmas is going to be here before you know it. But today I'm going to share with you guys what we got our 11 kids for Christmas. My husband and I, we have 11 children. So it's 13 people total, you know, in our household and shopping for a large family for Christmas. It can be a daunting task, but I'm going to share with you guys First, how I have done it for many years now that helps keep things a little bit simplified and on a budget. I love finding good deals and I cannot wait to share with you guys some of the sales that I found for this year's Christmas. So first, let me explain how we do Christmas for our large family. We have done this for many years now and it has just helped simplify things. So I shop within the categories. It comes from a poem, something you want, something you need, something to wear, and something to read. And this shopping within these categories just helps, you know, fit their gifts in a certain area. And then this way, not just any one child gets too many clothes. You know what I'm saying? It's easy to happen when you're shopping for many kids. So let's dive in, see what we got our kids this year for Christmas and the sales that I found. Grab a coffee, grab a tea, grab a Coke Zero, and let's get on with it. Are y'all ready for this? Are you ready? I gotta get everything out of here first. <laughs> Look at all those Amazon boxes. <laughs> if that doesn't tell you something. So I'm gonna get all this stuff out, get it organized, and then we'll show you what we got. So I have got 11 different piles here to go through and show y'all what we got our kids. Our kids' ages are from the range of 16 all the way down to one. So I have to give a huge disclaimer here. I do not have everything here yet. I am waiting on a few shipments to show up. Lord willing, they will be here in time. One box has been lost since the end of November. Not holding my breath on that one. Um, it just is what it is at this point. But I have, I think, two Amazon packages coming this week. And I have to pick up one gift as well on Tuesday. So we are going to start with our oldest daughter. She is 16. And here I'll start with the clothes that we got her. She loves flannel shirt so I got her a new flannel shirt and then I got this shirt she really likes the mountains um, we've done several Tennessee vacations and I just thought that she would like this it says take me to the and it's you know mountain and a van and trees I just think that she'll really like that with that said too she also loves sweater she loves winter clothing which is quite hilarious because we live in Florida y'all but so I got her this sweater she likes the color pink and this has got buttons down the back. I just thought that would be pretty and cozy and that she would like that. And then all the girls actually need a, a good tote bag. So I got her this black one. It's kind of like a corduroy finish. Um, I thought they would like that. They have been using random ones that we have when they go to Bible study and stuff like that. So I got each girl a tote bag. Now all that I got at Sheen. Very great prices. I also saw this ornament on Sheen as well. Um, she is our avid reader, and I just thought that she would like that. Um, it, it does have a string with it, but it came in that package. I might put that in her stocking. I'm not sure yet, but I just thought it was cute, and it made me think of her. So that's kind of like the something to wear pile. And then over here is her something to read. So I got her four books. She is an avid reader. She will read all of these. Um, if you all have seen our previous Christmas videos of what we got our kids, You've seen the piles of books that I've gotten her before, and she just plows through them. So I got this year from Kim Vogel, Grace and the Preacher, Sisters and the Confederacy. That's by Lorraine Snelling, The Long Way Home, and then Daughters, Daughter of Twin Oaks. Those are specific books that she asked for that I know, you know, she will love. I didn't get as many books as I normally do for her this year because she still actually has a good stack that she's working through. And then I saw this book a while ago and it just made me think of her. I figured she would like it. So I thought that I'd get this. This is by Beverly Lewis. She's read her some of her books too. Um, and it's called Sanctuary. So hopefully she enjoys that one. And then for her something to want, she actually asked for a pair of Vans. So I feel like this is a special gift, especially for a teenage girl. She has been wanting a pair of shoes like this for a long time. And well, they're just very expensive. We don't, you know, when the kids just need shoes, sometimes we don't have the money to just go and get vans. So this is a special Christmas gift. And I know that she's going to love and appreciate them so much. We actually got them on Black Friday sale for just under 50. 
um, I think it was, and I think they're like $70 brand new. So that is her one want gift. So her second want gift is this Anne of Green Gables five disc series. I think she said it was a TV show. I don't know. She has read all of the Anne of Green Gables books, watched all the movies, devoured them. She loves Anne. And we also have watched Road to Avonlea, which is kind of like a, a spinoff of it, which I enjoyed whenever I was a kid too. So we just love Anne in this house. So I know that she will love this. So I'm excited to give that to her. That's her second want gift. So I also have here a set of Bluetooth earbuds. I think this is going, so we do a sibling swap. I think this might be what her sibling gives her. Um, but I have that in her pile anyways. And then I will pop up a picture here. I had a canvas tote bag made for her. I'll put a picture of what it looks like here. I'm picking that up on Tuesday. My cousin made it for me. I'm so excited about it. It says the smell of books on it. I know that she's going to love it. Like I said, with the black bag, like they kind of needed some tote bags for the things that they're doing. And I just know that she'll love that. So moving on to our second daughter, this is her pile. So her something to read is I got her these two books. She has actually been asking for these books for a very long time and I've been holding off. It's A Good Girl's Guide to Murder and Good Girl Bad Blood. She really likes murder mysteries and well, she asked for them. I did read on them so hopefully those are okay. Kind of stepping out of my mama comfort zone here but those are the books that we got her. Her something to wear pile. I got her this shirt that says Coffee Queen on it. She really likes coffee. And by coffee, I mean like frappuccinos and stuff. Um, But she likes wearing the shirts that say I like coffee and stuff like that. I thought these were super cute. We got these at Sheen as well. And then she loves the color yellow. Absolutely loves it. And I saw this sweater, sweatshirt, and I just thought that it would be really pretty. She will love that. Um, so I got her this yellow sweatshirt and then she is also getting a tote bag as well. Um, you know, decent size so that when they go to their friend's house, church, so on and so forth that they can use, you know, to carry their stuff in. And then I took them out of the box. The box was pretty damaged. Um, so I won't use that, but then I got her these yellow high heels. She loves wearing heels and she, like I said, loves the color yellow. She is going to be obsessed with those shoes, I'm pretty sure. So I'm excited to see her face when she opens those. Okay, so this is kind of like her something to wear pile and then her something to read. Now the something she wants, I thought that she might enjoy a smartwatch. So this isn't, you know, an Apple watch. This is just Amazon brand and I just think that she will like it. So we got her this, I got it in the color silver. Um, that's important. You'll figure out in just a minute. So somebody else is getting one. And then the other thing is if y'all watch our vlogs, so this is her second want the gift. Okay. If y'all watch our vlogs, you know that she paints with watercolors and just is extraordinary. She really, she specifically wanted a fan brush. She's been asking for one. And so she is getting a whole new set of brushes, but I made sure that it had that fan brush. And then, so kind of move down the pile here, some watercolor paper, some new watercolor paints. She, I think, has used up all of hers. So I got a big box. She likes the, I forget what they're called. She likes it in the dish. She doesn't like the liquid kind that's in a tube. She specifically likes, I guess, like the palette. And then to add for something for her to like learn with her artwork, we got gouache paint, I believe is how you pronounce it pronounce it correct me if I'm wrong um so that is her second want gift okay I'm sorry guys I don't think I said how old she is so our oldest is 16 our next daughter is 15 and then our third daughter is 14 so moving on to her pile these are the clothes that I got her she really likes big t-shirts and she likes them with cactuses on it and I just thought this was pretty it says here comes the sun Arizona um, and then I got her this sweatshirt. She really likes sweatshirts too, kind of like Taylor. Um, Addie actually likes sweaters and I do have a sweater that I got for her from Sheen as well that I'm waiting for that package to show up. So if it doesn't show, I feel like she still has enough to open, but anyways, sorry, jumping. I forgot that I got, it's like a black long sweater thing. Okay. Anyway, so Peyton is getting this sweater. It's more like a lighter sweatshirt but I think that she'll like that it just looks like her to me and then she got this shirt as well she um loves horses she did riding for riding horses for a long time 
she isn't currently doing it, but anyway, so, um, I just thought that she would like that with a cowboy hat, super cute, and then she is getting into wearing, she's liking flannel as well, but she doesn't have any, so I got her a flannel shirt, and then she specifically asked for this sweatshirt, which I just thought was so cute, um, it says, Jesus, the way, truth, and life, so that is, I think she'll be super excited to see that, and then here's the tote bag that I got her, hers is black, um, she has a gray one that she actually got for her birthday, but so I thought either black or I might switch it out and give her that one. Anyways, but that is her tote bag. Okay, for her something to read, she is not my avid reader, which is perfectly fine, but I still want to encourage it. Um, she's more of a hands-on type person, but in the past she has read books um, by Wanda Brunsetter, and I thought that she might like this. I actually thought, oh, it is. I thought I ordered a six-part series. She had liked that before of what she had read, and that's what this is. So, it's a six-part series in one book. And then I saw this. She likes to do all sorts of crafting, and I just thought that this might be something fun that she likes to sit and color at or make cards. Um, I just thought it was super cute. I saw that at Ollie's. So, those are her something to read. Now, her want gifts is she is also getting a smartwatch. Again, Amazon. Hers is black, um, just Amazon brand smartwatch, but I know that I think her and Addie will both really like having one and appreciating it. So then her second want gift is this. So she is majorly into making bracelets, like huge. Um, and this is kind of cool. I have never heard of it. It's called a bead spinner. I wonder if I should open it and take it out. I will put links in the description box below, but basically it's a bowl that holds the beads and the way that it spins it just helps you string the beads easier and I just thought that would be super fun and then I got her some beads to go along with her bead making these are like little gummy bears charms that she can do something with um with making bracelets and then I got she has letters but she doesn't have numbers so I got her numbers here she specifically is doing stuff with the clay beads and I got her a set of colors that she didn't have let me get scissors and open that all right, so here I got some scissors and open up the box. These are the color clay beads that I got. I think there's another blue color in there. Blue is her favorite color, so I think she will love having that. I think she's used up most of her blue that she had. And while I had the scissors, I went ahead and opened up the bead spinner so that y'all could see. And this, I got the kit that comes with seed beads as well. Um, so she will have plenty of those to use. But here's the picture. So it's just a wooden bowl, and you pour all your beads in, and then you stick your wire in there and somehow with spinning it the beads go on the wire it just helps you know string the beads easier I just thought that was super cool and that will be fun she loves making bracelets so for Peyton all of this will be wrapped together as one want gift just similar like Addie's paint set like all that will be wrapped together three down eight more to go and now we are moving on to our firstborn son Jackson is 12 years old and he is very much your active boy all of our boys are but he loves being outside and doing all sorts of adventurous boy things so here's jackson's pile i think i said his age in case i didn't he is 12 years old and this is his something to read so i got him this football trivia bowl book um he logan are majorly into football so is nathan so i can just see them honestly sitting down and talking about all this stuff so with her dad they will love that um, then I saw this at Ollie's. It's this extreme maze book. I just thought that he would have fun sitting down and doing all this. Oh my goodness. This is giving me a headache. Just looking at it. Look at that y'all. Could y'all do that? I do not have the patience for this right here. Okay. <laughs> that is making my anxiety flare up. Okay. So then also at Ollie's, I saw this book and I just thought it was fun. Nathan wasn't with me and I almost texted him about it. Like, is this something good? Cause y'all, I don't know anything about football. It says Joe Journeyman on it, volume one. Nathan said it was actually really cool and he wants to find volume two now. So we're going to be on the lookout for volume two. But it just has pictures of all the teams, the stadiums, just different things. We weren't sure if it was kind of like a Where's Waldo type thing. I don't know. Nathan said it was pretty cool and he knows that Jackson will like it. So it's got, like I said, a page for each football team, the Lions. Just pretty cool. I mean... 12-year-old who's obsessed with football will love that, right? And speaking of being obsessed with football, 
He's getting a football. Their flag football starts up uh, at the beginning of January. And they both asked for a football. So they are both getting one. Um, and then Outdoors Boy, he's getting a new pocket knife. His has broke. So I know he will be stoked to see that. And then some really nicer binoculars. Like I said, Outdoors love going on hikes. And he will just have a good time with those. And then a new Nerf gun. This one was especially cool. I I'm sure your son could tell you why. I don't really know the difference but I was told that this was a cool one for an older boy and then he loves doing Rubik's cubes and kind of this sort of thing and this is one that he doesn't have so he's getting that did I mention this hat so I got him a camo hat he loves camouflage and then for his something to wear so he actually needed shoes I was planning on getting them for him for Christmas but he needed them desperately so he already got those and then I got this shirt it just kind of has the game controller on it. Um, I think he'll really like that. This is like a nicer looking camo shirt that he could wear to church. You know, it just has the camo stripe on it and he really needed clothes. So I kind of, I got him a few shirts. I thought that would be nice at church as well. He's getting to wear, you know, he's a young, turning into a young man and is caring about, you know, the clothes that he's wearing. And so that's camo as well. I think that he'll like those. So that is Jackson's pile. And then I also got him a Dude Perfect shirt as well. That's the only thing that he asked for for Christmas. It was Dude Perfect merch. So I do have a shirt for him. It's coming from Amazon. Uh, I think it said Tuesday. So hopefully that will be here. Okay, so this is Miley's pile. She is 10 years old. And some of her gifts aren't here yet. So I got her a journal kit. I will put a picture on the screen right here. And it should be here this week from Amazon. She loves sitting and crafting and doing all sorts of stuff. So I know that she'll like that journal kit. So with her older sister making bracelets, she has been begging for her own set of the clay bead making bracelet kit. So she is getting that set and it comes with a lot of stuff, y'all. It's pretty cool. Um, so I know that she will love that. So that's her one want gift. And then the journal kit is her second want gift. And then she has been asking for a backpack purse. So I got this one here for her. Um, I think that she'll like that. It's just kind of cute and perfect for a little girl. And then she's also asked for Bible tabs. So these are Bible tabs, you know, with all the books of the Bible. I was hoping that they would fit in the backpack, but I don't know that they will. So I'll just kind of wrap them together. But I just thought that was sweet. So I got her the Bible tabs and then her something to wear. So I actually got her a jacket and she really needed a jacket. So I went ahead and gave it to her. It's super cute. It's like a flannel puffy jacket. Um, but I saw this shirt and I liked it. It says smile and her name's Miley. We call her Smiley Miley because she just has a beautiful smile on her face all the time. So this is Miley's shirt. I thought it just made me think of her. And then she, you know, she's 10. So she's turning more into a preteen. I just thought this was kind of a cute basic shirt that she would like. She's kind of getting to wear, you know, she wants to dress a little more preteenish than little girl. And so for her something to read, I got her the Ramona book. So we have two, I think we have Ramona and Beezus. And then now I can't think of the other Ramona book, but I got Ramona and her mother and then Ramona and her father, but the father one isn't here yet. And then as far as like a crafting type book, I got this Dollar Animal Origami from, I got it from Ollie's. It was only $2.99. Comes with a book and all the practice sheets of making, you know, learning how to make origami out of dollar bills. I thought it was pretty cool and that she would like that. Miley is also getting a tote bag that is similar to her older sister's, but hers is blue. And it's in that box that's lost from Sheen. So pray that it shows up in time. So I know Miley's pile looks like less, but she is getting that big journal kit that I mentioned that I showed you the picture of. It's a pretty decent sized kit and comes with a lot of stuff. And then I'm also on the lookout for a new pair of shoes for her as well. I haven't found anything that I like. Nathan and I are going shopping tomorrow to finish up all this Christmas stuff because I need to find shoes for her. And then I'll tell you the other things that I'm looking for as well. But so that is Miley's gifts. All right, so now moving on to Logan. Logan is nine. And he, like I said, with both of, with Jackson, is an outdoor boy. Um, so I got him this gun set. Jackson has one very similar and Logan is always asking to use it. So I know that he'll like it. They like that it's a 
a pistol and it has these bullets that pop out and all that fun stuff. His actually has a holder in it. This one, Jackson does not. So I think he will really like that. And then his big want gift is skates. Y'all, I got these on a steal of a deal. I really wanted to get Logan skates. Our kids love skating and riding bikes and doing scooters and all of that. He has been wearing Jackson's old pair and they, honestly, we actually just cleaned it all out and got rid of them. They were so beat up and banged up. So I think that he will really appreciate this. This is actually the two-in-one combo. So he can either use it as roller skates or roller blades. And I actually bought a set like this for Herper for her birthday. And it's a $50 set. So I knew in my mind I wanted to get him. And you'll see I got Reagan one too. This is what I wanted to get them for Christmas. Y'all, they were on sale at Walmart. And I was stoked. This was just like in November. I had seen the skates there, you know, a couple times and I almost picked up a set and then was going to pick up another set, you know, another time. And I had just waited while I was walking by and they had them on sale. Okay. These skates are normally $50 for $22. And I needed two pairs. I was so excited because I'm getting two pairs for less than the price of one y'all. So that really helped my Christmas budget this year. And honestly, I was trying to rack my brain. Who else can I buy skates for? $22, y'all. That was just such a good deal. I just had to share that deal with y'all because I was so excited. So I do have another outfit for him coming. It is in that lost package from Sheen. So hopefully it shows up. I mean, as long as the toys are here. So if clothes show up later, it'll be fine. But he is also getting a camo hat. And then I got him... Also a Dude Perfect shirt as well. So his is here. Um, still waiting on Jackson. So it just says tall guy, beard, twins, purple. Who, sir? I don't, I don't know. Anyways, they asked for Dude Perfect merch. So he's getting that. I got him a camo outfit from Sheen. So, hope, you know, that's the one that's lost in the package. And then this shirt, I just thought was kind of cool. He's getting more into camo because his brother is. So I thought that he would like that. And here is his football that he is getting. And then Logan, he just loves doing hands-on building, all sorts of type of stuff like that. I saw this at Ollie's and I just thought that he would like that. Putting this together and it creates an animation scope. I just thought that it would be cool and kind of keep him busy. And then for his something to read, okay, so we had to get this. It was only $1.99. So it's a bottle flip challenge game. He flips water bottles all the time. Does it drive me nuts? Yes but he does it regardless. So why not encourage it? I'm totally like being goofy. Anyways, so it just has these marks on it. He is going to love playing this game. And for $1.99, like you just can't beat that. And then for books, I got him, I think Nathan actually picked this out. It's an Avengers coloring book. He loves to draw and he still loves Winnie the Pooh. And I saw this and I just thought that he would like it. So it's all on how to draw Winnie the Pooh and the other characters. And then this is, you know, like the search and find books. Um, it'll be something good to keep him busy on those days that I just tell him you need to sit down and you need to read a book. <laughs> okay, so then another gift for the boys to share. I didn't mention whenever I did Jackson's is these vests for, you know, their ammo for Nerf guns and stuff like that. It's a pack of two. And actually on Amazon, this was going for... 20 25 dollars i can't remember the actual price i got it on sale on black friday for 14 dollars, and it does you know it's got one for each of them it's got the hand the wristbands to hold the nerf darts and all of that i just thought they would really like having that moving to reagan's pile she is six years old all right, so let's get down here on the floor. <laughs> we are done with the items on the bed and we are in our overflow area. So Reagan, she has been wearing Miley's old skates for a while now and they are, they have seen their last day. I have been so excited to get skates for her and for Logan because they just, like I said with Logan, they love roller skating. So this is her set. Again, it was $22. They even had the one that I wanted to get her, the pineapple one. It's just kind of fun. And, you know, it just looks different than, you know, the other skates that we have seen. She is going to love that. It's a two-in-one combo, the roller skates and the roller blades. She is going to be so excited. 
Okay, so that's her big want gift. And then the other want is I got her Polly Pocket sets. That is one of the things that she had asked for. And these were on sale for, on Black Friday for like $15. So I got her this set. It's the Unicorn Birthday Cake one, Spin and Surprise Birthday. So I think that she will really like that. And then this one is actually the, the one that she specifically asked for. It is a gumball machine when the box doesn't have the picture on it for some reason. Let's see if I can get that out. So this is a Polly Pocket set that she will, that she asked for. And again, that was on sale on Black Friday. It's normally was like $30 and I got it on sale for $15. Okay, so for Reagan, something to wear. I got her two shirts and I'm going to get her a pair of shoes as well. You know, as I'm, I have been looking, I have not seen any shoes for her or Miley. So like I said, I'm going shopping with Nathan tomorrow. I'm going to look for shoes for Miley and for Reagan. So I got this shirt for her, just some leopard print. She can match her mama. Y'all know I like my leopard print. And then this one was super fun too, some uh, tie-dye. And then for her stack of books, this is what I got her. And this is a craft set. I got one for Harper too. I thought they would like doing that. I like to get them things that they can do, uh, you know, like a craft type thing um, as Christmas gifts. So she is getting into drawing and crafting as well. So I saw this drawing book and I thought that she would like that. And then this is also a hidden picture book for her and some other, you know, mazes and such. I just word searches. She's loving doing word searches. And then this coloring book just look like something fun and girly. All right, seven kids down. We are moving on to child number eight, Harper Faith, and she is five years old. So here is Harper's pile. So we do need to get one more gift for Harper. And that's something that we will look for, you know, as we are out shopping. So she is really liking Barbies and that's what she asked for for Christmas. So I got this set again, Black Friday on Amazon. They were $15 each set and they're normally were like $30. So I got this pet vet one. I just thought that she would like, it's got the little puppy and all the little, you know, accessories up there. And a little kitty cat. It's just so cute. And of course, Barbie. And then this is the main one that she has been wanting. Not for the Barbie doll, y'all. She wants it for the babies. <laughs> so I just thought that was cute. And I actually looked just for a baby set. And I couldn't find it. I was like, you know what? This was on sale. I think this one was 14 on Black Friday. I was like, it's worth it. We'll just get that. Because that's what she was wanting. Those the little babies in the crib and the bed. And all the baby accessories. So that is her want gift. And so we have to get one more want gift for Harper. I don't know what that is, but I know that we will see something that jumps out at us and we'll be like, that's that's it for Harper. Okay, so her something to wear. I got her this shirt. I just thought it was so cute. It says, be kind on it. And then this is just another fun, bright shirt that I thought that she would like. And then this shirt, actually, I think this was supposed to be for Miley or Reagan and it just looks so small. So I put it in Harper's pile. That might could fit Reagan. I don't know. Um, and then I got her a pair of black pants. I actually got her another pair of black pants, but she wore those for the Christmas play. But she's getting another one. And then a previous vlog I had shared, Harper got some high heels in that vlog. The kids, some of the kids needed shoes. It couldn't wait for Christmas. I wanted to set aside the high heels for Harper for Christmas, but it was not going over very well. Um, so she has the high heels and honestly, y'all, she has worn those. She has slept in them. It just blessed me so much. I was like, you know what? It is okay to give in a little before Christmas. So these are the sandals that I got for her. Are these not like so cute? I would totally wear those. Oh my goodness. I need to find some in my size. So those are the sh sandals that she will get. High heels were supposed to be for Christmas, but instead she got those early and she will get the sandals for Christmas now. So then here's her pile of books. So she's also getting a craft kit. And then this just looked like a lot of fun. It's fold out and play. It's got stickers. Let me find the scene. So you just, you know, different little activities for them to do. Um, I just thought that she would like that. And then this is a search and find that comes with a dry erase marker, unicorn and friends that, you know, has different mazes in it. I just thought that she would like that. So that is her something to read. All right. We're losing daylight, and so it's getting a little bit darker in here, but moving on to Drew Drew Man, as I call him. He's my little Drew Drew. 
He is three years old and he is your all around typical three year old toddler boy. So we will start with his something to read. And I got y'all, if y'all have not been to Ollie's, check them out, especially for books. I got so many things at Ollie's this year for Christmas, such good prices. So this book, so Drew absolutely loves dinosaurs. And I just thought this book was so fun. Kind of reminds me of an Usborne book. Um, but obviously it's not, but it was $1.99. It says even their price is $10. So it has all these items that y'all, that they want them to look for in each scene and it flips open. I just know he's going to love looking at that book. And then I got him this, my peekaboo animal book. Um, this is another, you know, flip tab book that I know that he will like. It talks about each type of animal safari time in the jungle. I just think that is super cute. Now he is loving sitting at the school table and doing school, you know, as I'm doing school with the other children. Um, so I know that he is going to like this and for only $2.99, I thought this was worth it. It's just a dry erase, wipe clean pre-K book with numbers and letters. I think we will get a lot of use out of that. And then for a want gift, I got him this dinosaur truck. I got this at Ollie's. It was $15.99 and they had their toys 25% off. And it's a dinosaur truck. I mean, he is going to love that. You push the buttons, it's loud, it moves on its own. I mean, what more could a little boy want? Thought that was super cute. And then a while back we were at Sam's and he saw this coloring set and he fell in love with it and he wanted it. So we got it and set it aside for Christmas. So it's this little Spider-Man, you know, different coloring sheets and it's got markers and then this is the case and it'll sit on their lap. I know he's gonna love that. And then this set I saw at Walmart on clearance for $13. It's this camping set. Here's the better picture, sorry. So it's this camping set. It comes with a little pop-up tent, a little lantern, binoculars, a camp watch, flashlight and compass, a Swiss army utensil thing, and a canteen. I just thought that was so cute. I can just see him playing with that and $13, y'all. Okay, and then this he is going to be obsessed with. A friend of ours has this game for her daughter, and every time that we go to their house, he pulls this out and plays with it, like, for an hour, and just sits there and plays with it by himself. So, I got this at Walmart, and it was only $6, so I just know that he is going to absolutely love that. So, I don't have his something to wear yet. I have been looking for cowboy boots for Drew, and I cannot find his size. I've seen him in size 10. I need size 11. <laughs> So that is going to be our goal tomorrow when we're shopping is shoes for Miley, shoes for Reagan, and cowboy boots for Drew. If I don't happen to find them, I might get him a hat or something. He really doesn't need clothes, so I'm on the hunt for cowboy boots. I just think that would be so cute. Could you just see him in his cowboy boots with his dinosaur truck in his tent playing his fish game? Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, moving on to my baby girl, Kinley. And I will start with her something to read. We have, so one, she loves playing with little people. We have a lot of those toys. Um, but I have a little people zoo book. And she loves looking at it and flipping up the tabs. So whenever I saw this at Ollie's, and how much was it? It was $2.99. I had to get it for her. She is going to love this book. So this is the little people school book. She is going to love that all aboard the bus. And then this is a Daniel Tiger book. She loves Daniel Tiger. And this is, you know, just the ones that make sound and the things move. And so she's going to like that. So those are her something to read. Now, we did not get her something to wear. Um, she just honestly doesn't need clothes. I could maybe get her a pair of shoes. She doesn't really need shoes either. She's got several pair. So... When they're this little, like, that's okay to not, you know, fit those categories. Um, but I did find these toys that I know that she's going to like. So, first, I'll show you this kid's lantern. This was just too cute to pass up. I got this on clearance at Walmart for $4. It's just one of those LED squishy lights. Um, I know that she will like it. So, $4 for that. That was a steal of a deal. And then she loves Coco Melon or Baby Show, as we call it in our house. And I got these on clearance at Walmart as well. I think this one was $11. The price is off. I'm pretty sure it was $11. It was right here. It got torn being here in my house. Imagine that. Anyway, so, so excited about the prices of these. 
Okay, so then we also got the Cocomelon House, and we got it for $19. I actually got the stuff, y'all. I think it was in September. It says it was $42. Could you imagine? Oh, my word. I would never pay $42 for that. Okay, so, you know, it's got JJ, his little bed. And look, I haven't noticed that. It's got, it kind of looks like a baby shark seat. She is going to love playing with us. You know, the pieces open, the refrigerator, all of that. And it makes noise. And it sings the songs, all of that fun cocomelon stuff. Okay, so we did not get her, did I already say that? We didn't get her something to wear because she doesn't really need it. I don't remember what I said, y'all. Anyways, we might could get her a pair of shoes, but when they're little like this, you know, so super excited with those deals that I got for her. Last but not least, on to baby number 11. So Camden is almost 15 months old. We did not get him something to wear because again, he and Kinley just really do not need clothes. And I just bought Camden a pair of shoes. So I really feel like they are good in that department. But we did get them or him some fun things. So this is a book that I got him, 10 in the bed. And it just says that, that nursery rhyme, you know, there's 10 in the bed and the little one fell, roll over. Or the little one said, roll over, roll over. And it goes through. I just know that he's going to like this and Kinley for that matter. So sweet, cute little book. I got this at Ollie's. Didn't have a price on it and they gave it to me for $1.99. And then Nathan saw this book. It says feelings. Um, and you just kind of go through, you know, happy. And then sad, just all the feelings. Hungry. I thought that was super cute with the pandas. Okay, so I got this little lovey for him. Where did I get this? Oh, the stickers are there. I got this at Ross and this was $5.99. He, so I love these things for like little babies, but none of my kids have ever gotten attached to them until Drew. Drew actually got attached to the one that we had for Jackson. I know the age difference. I keep a lot of stuff y'all. Anyway, so, um, so Drew is attached to that and it, so we call it his monkey. Well, Camden's been grabbing it from Drew. So I think Camden would like having his own. So this is my hopes that Camden will like a little lovey. And he likes blankets and stuff like that. So I just thought that was cute for him. And then the other thing that I got for him are these leapfrog maracas. So we have a toy that's kind of like handheld like this. And it has buttons on it. It sings ABCs. Camden loves it. It's a little microphone that you can talk into. Well, at co-op and at church, they have these maraca toys. And I wanted to just get the simple basic ones for him for Christmas. Because he really likes playing with those at both places. But I saw this at Walmart. And it was $10. And I was like, you know what? I think you would like this because, you know, it sings and does, you know, I just think he'll really like that. So, I think that will, he will really like it. I did not see an off button on them though, but he will really like that. And then the last thing that we got for Camden was this piano mat. So, it's just something that, you know, you lay on the floor and they can stomp on and it sings says step on piano play keys interactive mat we got this at ollie's for $14.99 it says the numbers shapes colors all of that i just think that's so cute and he is going to love that i had shared with y'all that we got a group gift for the boys but we did get a group gift for the girls it's kind of like a family gift more geared towards the girls but we got the full house tv series they have been asking for that for a long time. And I just think that it might be something fun that we sit around and watch as a family. And if the boys aren't interested, just the girls and I will sit down. But I have not gotten that. It's supposed to be in the mail this week as well. That is everything that we got for our budget-friendly Christmas for our 11 children. I am so excited and thankful for the deals that I got. It helped us save so much money. I hope that you all enjoyed watching, got some good ideas for your kids for Christmas or even for birthdays. It's always good to get different ideas and how other families do things like holidays and birthdays and stuff like that. So I hope that you all have a blessed Merry Christmas and we'll see y'all in the next video.